Hello and welcome, this is Reddit Oscar. And today let's talk about Margit the Fell Omen. Oh man, do I like Margit the Fell Omen. Margit is significantly harder than anything in the surrounding regions. He's the first story relevant boss that you fight in the game. And his fight makes clear that he's a cut above the rest of the various mini dungeon bosses that you might have found on the way to him. Margit has high HP, he does big boy damage, his move pool is very diverse. He has several delayed high damage attacks that will punish severely panic rolling. And he also has fast instantaneous attacks that will catch you unaware. And to top it all off, he gets more moves during his second phase. Many of which are harder to avoid and do a lot more damage. Yes, Margit is something else. In fact, in the network test, I saw a lot of people, a lot of popular YouTubers, with significant experience with the Souls games, get absolutely destroyed at Margit, completely getting messed up. It was amazing. Now, Margit stands as a gatekeeper to Stormvale Castle. You cannot get into the area without killing him. And the in-game plot is pushing you to go into Stormvale Castle. And so Margit, like Tree Sentinel and Agil, is an educator. Tree Sentinel teaches you that you don't have to immediately fight everything that you see, Agil teaches you the utility of Torrent for both dealing and avoiding damage. But Margit teaches you the most important lesson of all, that you need to get good. And in that sense, he's less of a teacher and more like a final exam. He demands that the player have a certain level of mastery over this game already. The first thing he does is reinforce the Tree Sentinel lesson. By being the hardest boss in the surrounding regions, he invites the player to go out and get some adventures under his belt before challenging him. He encourages the player to go out, get the levels and the loot, and most importantly, the experience fighting other bosses that will be useful when you finally face Margit again. And if you do that, the game specifically rewards you for it. In your travels, you might come across Margit's Shackle, an item that when used in Margit's boss fight will bind him to the earth for a bit, making the fight easier. It's an item that makes clear that From Software wants to heavily reinforce this idea that you have more options when you come up against a wall than simply banging your head up against it. And that when that happens, if you take the opportunity to explore, you will be rewarded for the effort. But there's much more to it than that. Once you get to the fight proper, levels and loot may increase the amount of mistakes you can make in a boss fight. But unless you're extremely overleveled, that's probably not going to be enough. Margit requires that you have at least a rudimentary understanding of how combat works in this game. He has several large openings that you can take advantage to do fully charged R2s. And if you take those opportunities and continue to put on the pressure on Margit, you could break his stance several times throughout the boss fight. Margit is the first boss that really hammers home how useful these stance breaking attacks and aggressive play can be. His delayed attacks and several hit combos will also make it clear what the consequences are for panic rolling. Blocking some of his heavier attacks will drain a lot of your stamina. And blocking attacks from his magic weapons will do chip damage through the shield. Together these teach you both stamina management and that there are some attacks you shouldn't try and block. I just, I just love Margit so much. He's such a cool boss. Okay, this is what makes him so great. This is, this is his main thing. He teaches you both of the lessons that the Tree Sentinel teaches you at the same time. Like I said in an earlier video, the Tree Sentinel teaches two different lessons to two different types of players. And both of those lessons are correct. The first lesson is that you don't have to engage with everything that you see. That sometimes it's better to explore and come back to a boss later. And Margit does that, he teaches that lesson. It's clear that he was meant to teach that lesson because the Margit Shackle is an item that you can find in the game, by exploration. But for the Tree Sentinel, if you choose to forego that lesson and ram your head against the wall, the Tree Sentinel teaches you that if you do that enough times, you will break the wall down. And Margit also teaches that lesson as well. Because even if you go off and explore and gain some levels and gain some experience, Margaret is still going to be a brick wall that you need to learn to break down. You still need to understand the fundamentals of combat. You still need to understand stamina management. You still need to understand dodging at the right time. You still need to understand that there are some attacks that you can guard and guard counter to, and some you shouldn't try and block. Now obviously there's a limit to how much this applies if you go off and get overleveled. But generally, Margit is going to be the guy that teaches the player to either get good or causes them to refund the game. 
and leave a zero review score on Metacritic. Which in a way is appropriate because he's really the guy that's telling you this is what the rest of the game is going to be like. If you want to proceed past this point, you have to get good. You can get good in whatever way you want. More options are available now than ever before. But get good you will, or you will not go further. And that is the end of this video. As always, thank you very much for watching.